Okay, guys, got an Ecta MDX. I was searching for what's the issue. The windows stopped working. None of the windows worked. I checked fuses, relays, all kinds of stuff. And I, I am going to go try this uh, old. I still got this thing laying around. It collected so much dust. So this was my friend's car. Uh, put in a new switch from Biowise Auto. And I have a doubt that switch is bad. For some reason, I'm not sure what was that reason, but we're gonna try this on and see if this works. And then we'll plug it back in, see if that one works and see how this goes. Sometimes when you buy new parts, they're not always good. Okay, so let's see what happens over here. Anyways, uh, let's continue. Okay, Mr. Biowise, Mr. Nice Guy, the switch doesn't work. Okay, so what I did was I took everything apart I put the old switch back on. That's the old switch on. Look at this. Look at this. All right. So what I want to do here now is I'm going to take this off. I'm going to unplug this. And this is how difficult it gets. This is how difficult things are with. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the old switch back in. I mean, sorry, I'm going to plug the new switch in. This is what you go. Sometimes when you buy stuff, they work temporarily. Here's a click. There you go. It's clicked in. Now the windows work. Okay. I don't know what went wrong there, but now the windows work. Okay. That one doesn't work. So maybe there's an issue. Okay. All right, so I don't know I don't know what caused that, but I'm going to have to get another switch anyway, but I'm going to talk to the parts guy and uh, I have to put this all back together. So it's most likely is a bad switch since we got the old switch there. That's our old switch there. Let me just flip that. You see that's a broken old switch. Just tested it with that. Anyways, guys, when you get a new parts, it's not always good, okay? It's not always good. Anyways, uh hopefully this video really helps somebody out. I was going through relays, fuses, all kinds of shit. And this is what it turned out to be. Now it starts to work. Okay, so I finished everything out. And again, same issue. None of the windows work. None of the windows work again. Okay, you see that? I'm, I'm pushing the buttons, but nothing's happening. Okay, I hold this down. The window's not opening. I hold this down, push it down, hold it down. Whatever I want to do, it does not open. Okay, again... I guess when I connected or disconnected, I'm not sure. It can't be the, the connector, none of that. So as soon as I put that other switch on, it started to work. And, but that's what it is. And this switch just feels crappy. Anyways, we'll get another switch. We're gonna order it probably original or fight with these dudes. Okay, so guys, I took everything apart. This is another attempt. I. I tried to wiggle all the wires in the back. Maybe it was bad wiring. So all I did was nothing worked. So I disconnected the, the, the switch and I put it back in. And we got a working window. So we got a working window here. If you can see my hand and the windows work. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn the car off. Take out the key, took out the key. I'm gonna put this key back in. I'm gonna start up the car and try now. It still works, but it eventually gave up. I guess the power goes off after a while and it shuts down. So who knows, who knows? But anyways, I'm definitely putting another switch in. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos. And let's see if the back windows work. The back one works. So this the switch is going bananas. That window works. That window works. Even auto works. See, I'm not even holding it. So what I'll do here is I'll press down and it goes down. Maybe we'll do a calibration, okay? We'll go up 